What's up everybody? Is it time? Can we start getting excited about this new hardware now? Oh, I think that we can. So, Xbox decided to reveal the specs of the Series X. I'm a little impressed, okay? I'm not even going to bullshit you. I'm a little impressed. In fact, you might even want to say I'm a little bit pumped up. <laughs> And look, man, I'm impressed. Like, I really am. Shoutouts to my man, Colt Eastwood, a.k.a. Colt Beastwood. He's been saying 12 T-flops for a little while. I've been real skeptical about that number. One of those, I'll believe it when I hear it from the horse's mouth. In this case, it was spewed right onto the horse's webpage. 12 teraflops for the GPU. This is very impressive. In fact, this is double the strength of the GPU in my computer. I got a GTX 1070. We're talking double the strength of my damn 1070, man. That's impressive, okay? A CPU four times the strength of what's in the Xbox. Now, the processor in the Xbox is a 1.75 gigahertz custom eight core uh, AMD CPU. Now, the Xbox One X, the processor ain't that different. And no, I didn't memorize this shit. I'm cheating. Yes, I'm, I'm looking at it. It's 2.3 gigahertz. So you got 1.75 in the standard, 2.3 on the Xbox One X. Very mild jump. So we're talking four times. Essentially four times the strength of what's in the damn Xbox One X. That's impressive. Man, are we going to see 120 FPS? There's no way. It's not happening. Okay? You're not fooling me, Microsoft. It's not going to happen. Okay? But whenever I get excited, especially at this stage in the game, in my age, it's hard for me to get excited. But I'm a little bit excited for this hardware. Okay? 12 teraflops? They're talking 120 FPS? Now, granted, I don't think we'll see that except for on arcade game where you're running around as a little deer. You know, a little bullshit like that. But games like Metro Exodus, 4K, 60 FPS, like with ease. You know, with room left over on the damn graphics card, people. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. If we can have, like, you can turn off V-Sync and have an unlocked frame rate, maybe get somewhere between... 80 to 90 FPS at 4K. Hey, this is a real deal. Look here, man. I got a Ryzen 2700X. GTX 1070. I know I already said it like 30 times. 16 gigabytes of RAM. So the Series X might have more RAM than that. I'm running 3200 megahertz on my RAM. And for my SSDs, with my SSDs, with everything, I paid like 1300 bucks for this PC. Xbox Series X ain't going to be nowhere near that price. We're talking five. Hundred dollars, you know, it don't even matter to me, man. This shit can be this sucker can be 600 bucks, it can be 700 bucks. I'm paying it day one. I'm in attendance. Halo Infinite, day one. I don't even know if Halo Infinite's gonna be any good. I'm not even really excited for it. I like new hardware. Let's talk about some of these features that Microsoft is boasting, shall we? Variable rate shading. Who cares? Hardware accelerated direct X, don't care. Ray tracing, don't care. Immersion in an instant, the next con console generation would be defined by more playing and less waiting, blah, 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 blah. SSD storage. Still no say on the size. It's got to be a terabyte. Microsoft, do not, do not give us a 500 gigabyte uh, SSD, man. That's not going to cut it. I want a damn terabyte. Quick Resume, the new Quick Resume feature lets you continue uh, multiple games from a suspended, suspended state almost instantly, returning you to where you were and what you were doing without waiting through long loading screens. Long loading screens? Well, wait a minute. With our next generation SSD, nearly every aspect of playing games is improved. Game wor worlds are larger, more dynamic, and load in a flash, and fast travel is just that fast. So why do we got to worry about long load times? I'm not leaving my shit running. I close the application down every time. That would drive me nuts knowing my application is running while it's in rest mode. Now, so that, that quick resume means nothing to me. Dynamic latency input. Mm, what's that? That sounds interesting. 
We're optimizing latency in the player to console pipeline starting with our Xbox wireless controller. Okay, I don't care. I'm wired. I keep everything wired. PS3 controller, wired. Xbox controller, uh, I don't use it. But everything's wired, trust me. HDMI 2.1 innovation. We've partnered with the HDMI forum and TV manufacturers to enable the best gaming experience through features such as auto low latency mode and variable refresh rate, ALLM, blah, 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 Series X to automatically set the connected display to its lowest latency mode. VRR synchronizes the display's refresh rate to the game's frame rate, maintaining smooth visuals without tearing, ensuring minimal lag and the most responsive gaming experience. This is very encouraging, Microsoft. Microsoft, hey, hey, I'm liking what I'm reading here, okay? I'm liking this. All your little talk about cloud gaming, you just handing all your exclusives over to the PC after I bought your premium console. I've had a real, I just spit everywhere. I've had a real sour taste in my mouth when it comes to you, Microsoft. But you talking my language over here, baby. You talking my language, I like it. <laughs> 120 FPS support. There it is. Don't you do that. Don't you don't you lead me on like this, Microsoft, okay? Don't do that. Don't give me hope. <laughs> 120 FPS, which my TV supports. And the lowest latency my 900E goes is like 16 milliseconds in PC mode. On the console 4K mode, it's like 32 milliseconds. Now, granted, I don't think you can feel the difference, but it just knowing that I'm running 32 milliseconds of input lag bothers me. So if it can take advantage of the 16 milliseconds, I'll sleep better at night. I doubt it'll be able to do that, though. Four generations of gaming. So they're talking about further enhancements to some of the back-compatible games. I hope that's a thing. I hope they keep pushing that forward, utilizing that technology. That'll be awesome. It's saying the older games that are on your Xbox One are going to run better on the Series X. Let's go. I'm liking it. Smart delivery. The hell is that? Xbox One, Series X, you're getting the right version of the game, whatever Xbox you're playing it on. Well, I mean, I should hope so. Xbox Game Pass, don't care, generation players at center. La, 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 la. This is very concerning to me. There's still no mention of crossplay. Listen, Microsoft, okay? You, Sony is scared of you right now, okay? I think everybody knows it. They're not going to E3 again. They're saying it's because of the virus. Wrong answer. They're scared. They don't want to show the same E3 that they've showed the past, well, they didn't go last year because they were scared. Actually, I don't think they were scared last year. They didn't want to show the same conference that they've showed the, the prior years. I think they've showed the last, their last two E3 conferences have been damn near identical. But now they're scared. Even, they're even waiting for you on the price. And see, Microsoft did this. Microsoft is smart. They did this because some leaked specs came to light. And it was showing that the PS5 is more powerful. We know that ain't going to be the truth. We know that's not the case. Microsoft knew this wasn't the case. They were like, hey, look here. They just basically plopped their shit out on the table and said, wrong answer. 12 T-flops, baby. What you got? Sony's like, damn. Okay, let's wait to see what Microsoft is going to price it at. And then we're going to price it at least $50 cheaper. That's their play. That's why they're waiting on Microsoft. Microsoft, I don't even, I, I actually believe Phil Spencer when he says he's not competing with Sony. I'm actually starting to believe that. It's almost like Microsoft is doing their own thing. Sony's the one sitting back watching and waiting to see what Microsoft does. Waiting to see what daddy Phil Spencer is doing. That's what Sony's doing. This is all good news, but I'm very concerned with no mention of crossplay, okay? I'm getting tired of buying three versions of the same damn game, okay? I got friends on everything. My son's on Xbox. I play primarily on PS4. You probably wouldn't gather that from this video. I used to play everything. If I'm playing on console, it's on the PS4. If I'm playing lately, it's on the PC. My son wants to play on Xbox. My man LJ wants to play on the PS4. Uh, Blaze wants to play on the damn PC. I'm tired of buying shit across three platforms. Let me buy it one damn time and cross-play with everybody. Can we do that, please? We're getting higher frame rates across the board. PS5, Xbox Series X on my PC. I still cannot believe these specs, man. These specs, shit. 
on my PC. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. If they drop this at $500, I'm going to be halfway tempted to open this up and see where I'm being ripped off. Because how, how was it even possible? Last but not least, I'd hate to beat a dead horse here, people. I hate to do it. These sticks. I'm not even going to harp on. You already know what time it is with me. They need to be fixed. I want out-of-the-box tension tightening on your damn sticks. And I don't want an Xbox Elite controller to do it. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. Remember all you guys on Twitter? You remember saying, oh, you'll buy it. You'll buy the Xbox Elite too. Watch. Just wait and see. I don't see it. Maybe you tell me. Where's it at? Oh, that's right. I didn't buy it. Just like I said I wasn't going to buy it. I already have an Xbox Elite controller. It's called a keyboard and mouse. Now, Microsoft. Tension tightening out the box. And I want these two buttons, these two back paddle buttons, built in. It should be on every freaking controller from here on out. It needs back buttons, okay? Let's evolve, please. And I heard some rumor that Sony's going to put like some... This could be a rumor. Sony's like putting something in their controller that, that measures your heart rate. It's like, please. If they're doing that, please stop, okay? Let's focus on shit that's going to push gaming forward, not waste valuable resources in wasting our time. Anyway, so, Xbox Series X. I'm excited. I think you should be excited, too. Day one. I'll see you there.